This video demonstrates how using Boolean operators can help you refine your search results to get the research you need faster and more efficiently. If you need a review on Boolean operators, please check out the video linked in the description for an overview of what Boolean operators do before watching this video. Boolean operators can be used to search in almost any database, including the library catalog and search engines like DuckDuckGo and Google. For this video, we'll be searching in the library's catalog to demonstrate how different Boolean operators can make your results more useful. You can search the catalog directly from the library's homepage, but to make it easier to see the Boolean operators, we're going to click on Advanced Search. Notice how the Boolean operators are in the drop-down menu here, which is a great reminder to use them when we are searching. We're going to leave all the defaults on right now so that we are searching Cal State East Bay's collections and searching our keywords in the default fields too. So let's first run a search without the Boolean operators to see how many results we get. We'll search for ornithology. And we get 79,379 results back. That's a lot. I don't wanna go through all those results and I'm sure you don't either. One way we can refine our results is to add a keyword with the Boolean operator, and. So let's add the keyword California because we are looking for results that have to do with California. Notice that we reduced our results to 15,826. That's a big difference. It's still a really large number of results to go through and we can limit our results in other ways. We can add another keyword with the Boolean operator and we could also refine our results using the limiters on the left hand side of the screen such as availability, type of source, or publication date, and more. But let's look at using the next Boolean operator or. We can use or to get more results if we aren't getting enough. This Boolean operator is great to use with synonyms. So let's use our same search for ornithology resources again and we get a lot of results back. But say we didn't get enough results and we wanted even more, what should we do? We could use a synonym or another closely related word to our first keyword ornithology that might bring us back more results. In this case, we'll use the word bird after changing the drop-down menu to or. Notice that our number of results expanded greatly, over 2 million. So remember, or is more. Lastly, let's use the Boolean operator not to exclude the second keyword from our search. Let's start again with ornithology as our first keyword. And we'll change the drop-down menu to not, and we will add the word history because we don't want any histories of ornithology. Notice that we reduced the number of results because any results that have the word history were excluded from our search. I hope these examples of Boolean operators in action help you run better, more effective searches for your next research project. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always contact us at the library for more help. Good luck with your research.